welcome to this month's version of a favourites video. A little bit of a different kind of one today. Jim's just come up with the name of a monthly wrap up and I kind of like that because I kind of wanted to pick out some favourite things that I'd enjoyed last month but there's some favourites that are kind of ongoing and things that I've just started liking or just started playing or just started watching that I kind of wanted to talk about anyway. So they're things that are going to be coming up in the next month as well so and just kind of like a little life update as well so the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that I'm having to stop running as much as usual at the moment because I don't know what's happened but for about I've been running for about a year now for about six months it was absolutely fine I didn't really get any aches or pains anywhere and then suddenly for the past six months or so my hips have been hurting like both sides of my hips both sides of my hips does that make sense my right and my left hip after running. It doesn't hurt when I'm running, it just hurts after I'm running. And it makes me feel really stiff and like if I've been sat down for a long time, I go to get up and I'm basically like a very old lady trying to get up. Um, and I shouldn't be like that at 30. So I don't know what's wrong yet, but I'm going to try and get that investigated and what have you. But I'm, I've kind of had to like, it's scared me from running. It's just made me a bit nervous to go for a run. I am doing the park run this Saturday, um, just because I haven't been, I haven't been able to do it for the past couple of Saturdays because I've been working and it's just it's just a nice atmosphere and I, to be honest I don't have to run really really fast I know when I do it I kind of you kind of get like in that mood that you want to do well because it's timed and you want to beat your personal best and you just want to beat everybody else who's running around you and you just kind of yeah you kind of I find that I get glued to one person in front of me and I'm like they're at my pace I need to keep up with them and it just yeah and then because I remember finishing it once and the woman behind me said that she'd been following me and then I was and then I turned to the woman in front of me and said and I've been following you so it's kind of nice it's just a nice spirit so I'm going to do that and then if I need to take it slow if I feel that this is going to hurt my hips at the end I might um just slow down a little bit with that I have decided to join the gym again I I, I did the gym last year yeah before I started running I joined and I'd been going for quite a few months but and I was I was absolutely loving it I'd started with a friend originally and then she drifted off not not doing it anymore but I carried on and I did really really enjoy it but obviously that costs money and when I started running I thought this is a free hobby this is free I may as well just run and cancel my gym membership which I did but now I've kind of having to stay yeah not run as much I'm going to join the gym again well I have done and yeah just go a little bit more often really. I was finding I was feeling like I was getting bored of it the other week because I would bought myself 10 sessions to make it a bit cheaper rather than signing up for a monthly subscription I decided to just pay for 10 sessions so I did that and then I've just been going once every now and again and every time I go I feel like I have to make the most out of my money so I stay for ages and I get I can just get really bored so I'm like oh, I'm bored of the gym now but I think to fix that I'm gonna yeah sign up to the monthly thing and go as many times as I like but I don't have to go for as long each time so I don't know I feel like working on my muscles little and often will be a better improvement I'll see more improvement than I will doing like loads once every two weeks because I feel like that's not really gonna do that much anyway whether that's true or not I've no idea my brother and his wife bought me um, a voucher for a shop called up and running I think they have I don't know how worldwide their company is I know they've got one in Chester and one in Liverpool and they have an online site so they gave me a voucher for up and running and I have been running in Caramore trainers which are okay but obviously with my hip pain I thought maybe it's the trainers that I'm running in so I went to up and running and they analyzed my my gait and something else and just checked they kind of like filmed me when I was running on the treadmill just to see if my feet are landing correctly and things because obviously everybody runs differently and if your feet are leaning to the side or doing something I don't know you can get different kind of trainers that provide support for people who run like that now he said I was neutral so I went onto their website because there was some trainers in the sale I thought I'd get more for my money and I bought these Brooks trainers and they're nice colour because they're, they're black yeah they're black with some funky <laughs> me and Jim had an argument over this not an argument <laughs> we had a bit of a debate didn't we Jim over whether we always have debates over whether these are green or blue Jim mm -hmm. this is like turquoise right it's blue okay but what colour are these bits 
because there's like also blue. there's two different elements to it. There's there's you just think it's all blue. blue, but I feel like there's there's a Your lot of green. Is green. <laughs> Those trainers <laughs> are blue. Okay, bluey green. They're all blue. <laughs> Bluey the, green. The front bit's navy, Greeny blue. the back bit's... No, it's not, it's black! You're mental. Are you actually kidding me? That's navy. That's black. That's navy. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know whether anyone can join in with this because it depends on what colour these come out. This is like that trick thing that went on Facebook of everybody no, thinking... <laughs> you need to add colour blindness to one of your favourites. <laughs> Can that be one of my not favourite things? Apparently, I'm colour blind. I don't know. Does anybody else do this with anybody? Everybody sees colour differently, right? Well, I do, apparently. That's black. I think Jim's gone mad. I think Jim's colour blind. Anyway, these are amazing. They're so comfortable. They've got so much padding in them. Um, I got them in a size 9 because apparently, well I am kind of size 8, size 9 anyway, but when you buy running trainers you need to get a size that's slightly bigger than what you normally wear because your feet swell when they when they run, when the, when you're running and um, they kind of like need enough movement as well. So I was running in a size 8 in Camelmore so I don't know whether they've kind of, yeah, I was hoping that the second I switched to these my hips would be fine but that is not the case at the moment. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But those trainers, they're just amazing. They did cost £95 from up and running, but I'm hoping that will last me a long, long time because, I mean, I don't run that much, my usual running. I run about three times a week, about 5K. So if I continue doing that much running, they should last me ages anyway. So I think it's a good, good value to make sure you're not damaging your body. So that is one of my favorites this month. Another thing I've been loving, kind of plays into running as well, is a podcast that I've been listening to. Now it's a podcast by David Tennant, I'm going to read off here. It's called David Tennant does a podcast with and then he gets guests on and just chats to them and it's so good. I don't know if you're a fan of David Tennant or DT as everybody calls him, it's amazing. You feel like you're in a room having a chat with him and his best mate, especially with the um, the first one he put up, Olivia Coleman. Um, and then Jodie Whittaker, um, he's got some of the good, Catherine Tay I loved, James Corden, and there's a bunch of people he does them with and he's still like continuing to upload. They're just, they're so casual. He's literally just sitting having a chat, it doesn't feel like an interview at all. And yeah, they call each other, like, call each other. He call, he gets called DT by the people who really, really know him really well. And yeah, oh, it's just amazing. He's such a good presenter because he's presenting, but but just having a chat and they swear and they just don't care what they're saying and it's brilliant it's so open and honest I just absolutely love it so but listen to that while I've been running and driving in my car as well so entertaining I'm so happy that I discovered podcasts I can't believe you can just get them for free and they're just amazing so I've cancelled my audible subscription at the moment because I listened to the books that I wanted to listen to at the time I'm literally like into podcasts at the moment swapped onto podcasts because they're free and so entertaining. I've been watching at the moment Breaking Bad. I know I'm a little bit late to the Breaking Bad um, party. <laughs> Breaking Bad party? Um, but every time we say, Jim, what are you doing? I'm fine. Are you cooking? Sorry. No, no, no. I'm fine with that. I was just making a little joke. Um, every time I'm like, Jim, do you want to cook? You know, not every time, but you said it the other day, didn't you? You were like, uh, you want to cook. Anyway, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, you don't know what I'm talking about, but... <laughs> if, I have seen Breaking Bad Everybody's seen Breaking Bad but me, Jim thinks. <laughs> um, it's really good. I'm loving it. It's quite intense sometimes, sometimes, all the time. There's obviously the delicate subject matter of the fact that he's got lung cancer and... Oh, is that a big spoiler? <laughs> Product button? Right, yeah, that's like the first episode. Okay, so we've got lung cancer. So some of those moments can be a little bit, obviously, I don't know, upsetting and kind of intense. But, well, that's the po po point in the show is you've got this, yeah, kind of emotional storyline connected with, you know, breaking the law and violence and... <laughs> I don't know. Jim, how do you describe Breaking Bad? Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jim's... <laughs> In one oh, sentence. Thing. I don't know. I'm... How would you describe Breaking Bad? Jim, Jim's third round of watching Breaking Bad, by the way. Um, 
it's that kind of um, that thing that I'm really into at the moment, like suspense and thriller. It's not thriller yeah, suspense. I'm trying to like do it such, just as though. Yeah, you could obviously wrap it up into just like got a, that kind a of crime thriller. I love drama. that kind of thing at the moment. But like Breaking Bad, it's just like the the it's the pinnacle of TV, basically. I don't. I don't I, I, I'm liking it. I don't even know if it's like the best and as and big as. Do I need to see the, the whole thing? The thing is, thing though, that's kind of... exactly what I thought. I'm, Are you coming just in? Like a, just come in. I'm an come on omnipotent in. voice at the moment. <laughs> Jim is my guest today. My guest. Sorry, I'm just popping for my this guest. Bit. So when I first watched Breaking Bad, I remember watching it and I was really enjoying it like you were. Yeah. But I remember thinking, probably about halfway through the series, I was like, this is a really good show, yeah. but I don't think I could ever watch it again. Oh my god. Because it's yeah. kind of like a one and done thing. Yeah. And then I finished it, because eventually I caught up and then I watched the the last episode live and I finished it. Oh wow. And the first thing I wanted to do was start it again. How weird. So it's something Once you that see the whole thing You need to get all the way through. You really like get a scope of how good it is. Okay. So within about a month I watched it again. That's hard, I didn't realise it was that quick. Which I don't do yet, it was yeah. very fast. Yeah, which and now this is do. my third time watching it. Um, it is very... Yeah. yeah like, and it's the characters, isn't it, and the way they develop and things. I remember you telling yeah. me about that. It's there. Because a lot of series are like and... what you'd call procedural, which means every episode is the same basic storyline. Um, yeah. Like you get them in a lot of crime uh, TV shows, so it's like... Opening, someone dies, investigation, they catch the guy. Yeah, okay. Rinse and repeat yeah. with an ongoing storyline in between. I do find the episodes are quite. Whereas this. They vary so much, don't they? Well, yeah, yeah, there's, that's good there's, point, no, there's no outline One for an so episode. Different to the it's next. literally from the first episode to the last episode, every episode is different. It's a that's a good point. Yeah, it's like. Um, I agree with that. Like Daredevil and Jessica Jones yes. and stuff. Like those episodes aren't the same. Yeah. They're all different. It's an ongoing story that just goes all the way through. It's just one of those things that really makes you just want to binge watch the whole yeah, thing. Exactly. Like, what happens next? Um, what happens next? So yeah, it's 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 really 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 good. Thank you for your input. You're welcome. <laughs> Go um, and finish the Halloween okay, and drink It's basically ready it. now. So I oh, know, okay. I right, I'm gonna quickly wrap this up. Um, just keep it warm for me, my Halloween. Okay. I don't know. I need to continue my video. I won't be long. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Jim, for your little input input into Breaking Bad. So yeah. I don't know what what series am I on? Two. Oh. Okay, so I'm just about to finish series 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 two, um, and yeah, we'll see how. Yeah, please don't spoil it, <laughs> and we'll see how I get on um, with the rest of it. But definitely something that I'll be enjoying for the next month or so. I have a game that I've just completed. I am trying again to actually play games and complete them because I do enjoy playing games it's just that I get carried away with cleaning sometimes and forget to play games um, and it does usually take me about a year to complete a game <laughs> so I started Life Life is Strange and was it only about a month or so ago it wasn't long ago I haven't been playing it for long and I've completed it yeah I've completed it it's not a hugely long game once you get into it once you get your teeth stuck into it you can get through it pretty quick it's the game reminds me of Bandersnatch from Netflix, from the Black Mirror thing. Do, do you know what I mean, Jim? It's got the, you have to do, um, you can choose options which kind of dictate, it doesn't dictate the storyline as a whole completely, but it does, because you, you basically choose things that you're going to do and decisions that you're going to make. I don't know, for example, something will have happened, you go up to the headmaster in the school and he you can either tell the truth or lie and things like that, you know. But anyway, it gets quite deep and there's a crazy story going on. I think it's fine to reveal that the character, the main character Max, can control time. She can rewind time um, so she can choose an answer and then change her mind if she's made the wrong decision, she feels like she's made the wrong decision, rewind and choose a different decision and see how that plays out. And then you can even rewind that one and go back to your first decision. So it's, a, it's kind of, it was a little bit, um, it made me really, really anxious at the beginning because I was just like, oh, I don't know which one to choose. Am I choosing the right thing? I don't know. But I did really, really enjoy playing it. Yeah, it's a good story. And they've got, um, I think they've got a prequel, haven't they? And they've got a, a prequel. What 
was wrong. Say that again. Why? A prequel. A prequel. What? It's a prequel. Prequel. Like, like it's not sequel, <laughs> is it? I don't know. Sequel. Sequel. Prequel. Prequel. Oh, okay. I've never not said sequel it like... and prequel. I've never said it like that before. That's like before. What before they were writing on feathers? Was that? <laughs> Yeah. Right, with rocks. Prequel! <laughs> the prequel era. Shut up. Or before Guardians crazy. of the Galaxy. I thought you were going to say something like that, you know? I literally was thinking about Guardians of the Galaxy in the second. Anyway, prequel. 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 Almost. What? <laughs> prequel. Pre prequel. <laughs> prequel. Prequel. Why can't I say it? I don't know. Say it again. Prequel. Prequel. Say it! No! <laughs> prequel. Prequel. <laughs> say sequel. Sequel. Do you say sequel now? <laughs> sequel. Sequel. He's oh. <laughs> looking at me like that's oh, not nice. quite it. Sequel. <laughs> Saying it faster doesn't get rid of the quill, does it? No. <laughs> Wow, that went well. Another thing we've been watching this month is, like, all of the, whoa, I've just been brought a halloumi <laughs> sandwich. This be one of your favourites. That's incredible. Halloumi, oh my gosh. Halloumi is one of my favourites. <laughs> Thanks, Jim, for providing me with content. <laughs> for my stomach and my channel. <laughs> oh, grilled halloumi. Halloumi is the best invention ever. Oh, so good. I'm gonna have to finish my video before I eat that. Halloumi's amazing. It's like suddenly appeared out of nowhere the past year or so. I feel like I didn't know it existed before. Whether it did exist or whether it's just become a thing, I don't really know, but it's amazing. If you like cheese, even if you don't like cheese, try halloumi because it's amazing. We like it grilled, we like it fried, we like it grilled again. I don't know what else. We just like it grilled and fried, I think. But it's so good. <laughs> it tastes so amazing. There's so much flavour. You don't need to salt it. It's like the saltiest thing in the world. But it's so good. I love it. So I'm gonna like speed through this video quickly now so I can eat that. Yeah, we've been watching Marvel shows. We've been- Marvel shows? We've been watching the Marvel films um, just in the run-up run up to Endgame because that was released last a week ago today. A week ago today, actually. And we went to the midnight showing which was very difficult for me because I fall asleep in the cinema at the best of times. We can go and see a morning showing and I'll fall asleep. It's just sitting down, when I watch stuff, my body just shuts down. It's just like, this means sleep then if I sit here and stay still. Oh, I just fall asleep. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's like I get hypnotised by the telly and it just puts me to sleep. Does anybody else get this problem? I don't know. It's just me, I think. Jim gets really annoyed. No, <laughs> it's just like, for God's sake, stay awake for things. So we've been, he's been forcing me to stay awake um, quite a few nights in a row to try and get through some of the movies leading up to Endgame. Just kind of, obviously, there's a lot of films and they, they do have like a suggestion of the order to watch them in. I have seen them all before, but with the Infinity Stone story, you just kind of need to be refreshed. Well, I do anyway, because I forget films after, straight after I've seen them. And I didn't really know, like I'd seen all the films, but I hadn't really taken in exactly what was going on, if that makes sense. I've enjoyed the films, but I've never really been like a massive Marvel fan, um, really understanding the storyline, knowing what's going on. But watching those films and the run up to Endgame has really like refreshed my memory on things that were going on. and giving me more knowledge about the Infinity Stones and what is going to be happening in end Endgame. And yeah, we got through quite a few and I loved them. And Endgame was incredible. Actually the best movie in the world. It's my favorite movie ever and I'm sure it will be a lot of people's. You do, obviously you, you do have, you could watch it without watching any of the Marvel films, but you won't be invested in the characters, you won't be invested in what's going on. You would understand mostly about what's going on, but I don't know, yeah, you wouldn't like understand its level to appreciate everything. It was just incredible. The characters are incredible. I love them all. Um, I won't give away any spoilers right now, but if you want to, I'll link the video that me and Jim did 
as like a reaction video to it. Not reaction, but like a li little review to our thoughts on it. We did it at four o'clock in the morning after we came back from watching Endgame. A couple of days later, we did also go and see it again in the IMAX cinema, which was amazing. It's so good to see it in total. 3D. It's like a 3D experience, but way better than normal 3D. So that's about everything, I think, for my little chatty update. It's... I'm sorry it's a little bit thrown together and I'm trying to rush because I really, really want to get tucked into this delicious thing. And... oh, actually, one more thing. I've just started playing Octopath Traveler, like, literally the past hour. And that's a game on the Switch and it's a role-playing game and I fucking love role-playing games and I've only really played Final Fantasy games and Bravely Default previously and now I'm tucking into um, Octopath Traveler and tucking into this. It's really good so far. It's pretty good so far. Every frigging game is so good on the Switch because you can play it on your telly, you can take it away, you can do whatever you wish and play it wherever you wish. Yeah, so I'm going to get back to doing that now for the rest of the day and thank you very much for watching <laughs> yeah if you have any ideas about what kind of videos you want from me next please let me know hello to all of my random new subscribers i've had the past month or so which is a bit weird i don't really know where they've come from um i know i'm not in the millions yet but it's nice to have just a few more along for the ride um so thank you very much for joining and yeah if you are new my channel and this is your first video please do subscribe because i really 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 appreciate the support yeah i'll see you all next time thank you <laughs> bye bye i'm so weird